obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, the arterial occlusion incident is simulated. The arterial occlusion is a serious medical condition in which the arteries and vessels of your body get clogged by lipids or fats. Under this condition, the blood can't flow inside the vessels easily and may result in different other conditions or diseases. In this project, the blood flow inside the artery with different congestion or contraction area is simulated and pressure and velocity distribution inside the vessel is extracted. The present 2D model is drawn using Design Muller software. This model consists of a tube-shaped vessel with two branches that are connected to a branch in a form of curve and clogged passage of fluid flow. The meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is a structure and the element number is equal to 85,222. In the scaling part, you are able to change the mesh dimension based on your meshing software geometry you've used. For example, you've used uh, the meter dimensions for your mesh. You can go ahead and change the scaling factors to meters. Or you can change it into whatever units you want. For example, you can change it into feet, to inches, and so on. After double clicking on the viscose model under the models tab, a new window will appear. In this window, we select the laminar viscose model because we are dealing with blood flow which flows inside a very small scale tube hence the velocity of blood flow is very small in this part we need to define blood as the material used in our simulation under the fluid tab by double clicking on the blood a new window will appear after clicking on the inlet boundary condition you will see that the type of this boundary condition is defined as mass flow inlet by clicking on edit a new window will appear letting us to change the blast flow rate of this boundary. After double clicking on the controls button, a new window will appear showing you different values for an under relaxation factors. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project and we highly recommend you to not change these values. After double clicking on the residual button, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the absolute criteria for the residuals of each equation. For example, you can see the absolute criteria for continuity, x velocity, y velocity and so on. This criteria refers to the difference between the errors of each iteration and it refers to the fact that if the error is less than these criteria, those equations have reached convergence. Also, as you can see, the convergence criterion is set, is set to be in absolute form. In the section contours of pressure, velocity, temperature, and velocity vectors are extracted and presented to you using CFD post software. As can be seen in this pressure contour for 70% congestion of the artery, you can easily see how the pressure drops after passing the congestion part. Also in the pressure contour you can see how velocity magnitude has increased in the congestion part. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign Hope you enjoy.